What's good everybody, Jeff here. It is here, it is fucking there. Two years after the last operation, CSGO has now launched a new one called Operation Shattered Web. But it costs 13 euros. What? What the fuck? I mean, it seems to be big and by the time I'm recording this, it's all hot and new and you know, I was on the couch looking at YouTube videos. But look, the main focus is what do you get for that price? We're gonna go through the operation, see what's up, what's new, what's coming out, because there's of course the operation changes, but there's also some changes to the gameplay. But number one, we're gonna start with the operation. So this is a classic, it is based on missions, new ones getting released every week, and each mission will bring you points, also called stars. Now, some of them seems to be like before, like get X kills with X weapon, some others seem more interesting, and I wonder how that one's gonna go. Now, the biggest change to me really is the models, because look at that, like there are new models for CSGO, but wait, because it gets even bigger. They look good, and I really like the cyberpunk-ish vibe, and I mean, this, this looks good, I'm really excited about this. Oh, and also we now have a female model for CSGO, she's called Ava, or Ava, or... But now, what is actually huge and took some time for me to understand is that you are now able to select the model you want to play and play with it in matchmaking. So wait, I'm gonna say that again. You can choose the model you want to play with in matchmaking from the range of the new models that have been released right now. At first, it seemed weird, so I went and asked the confirmation to CSGO and they confirmed it on Twitter, so it's a thing. You can now change the skin you want to play with in matchmaking. Now, this is kind of a big change for CSGO because we're gonna get more and more into personalizations. I mean, first we begun by the skin, then the sticker, then the gloves, and now even the models. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is just the first step of a lot more customization, a lot more skins incoming. But hey, I'm no skin expert, this is just my opinion. And now again, I believe that this would be a big change for CSGO. Some of them seem more bulky than others, and I really wonder how that's gonna play in game. And my question is, how will it impact the gameplay? Like, what if the entire team picks the same skin? Because in the end, having different skins like it usually is, you would recognize quite easily how many players are pushing you, if the one that is in front of you is the one you have hit before. That kind of hints are gone now, because if the entire team picks the same skin, you don't have the hint anymore. So I'm just curious to see if the bulky models are gonna be properly fitted with the hitbox and that kind of stuff, but for now, I, I can't really say more. Now, new operation means new skin, and in that regard, we have a lot of them. First one would be the box, which is the Shattered Web knife coming from the Operation case, and this one comes with new knives. Now, there isn't much to say about it. Those are nice. You like, you don't like, they look cool. That's about it, except for one. A butt plug version of the butt plug, which isn't so much of a butt plug anymore, some kind of tackers called the skeleton, but you know, again, skins, they look good. I like to use them. This one looks nice, to be honest. And there's some more of them, and this is in the Operation case again, which I assume you will only be able to drop if you buy the Operation case, which again, costs 13 euros. That's a lot of money. That's actually the price of the game, if you think about it. I mean, the price of the game if you're gonna play in uh, Prime Matchmaking, obviously. Then we have some new collections, a North collection. Uh, those skins, I believe, are the one you will drop in-game, even though you don't buy the Operation. Those, those are the ones that seem to be dropped. Wait, hold on a minute, that oak looked good. Huh. I, I, I really like that Ope. Now, I'm just curious to see if that's gonna be coming from a box, like an actual case which you will unbox, or skins that you will drop in-game, because it's coming from a collection and I'm not so sure of what's going on with those. But uh, the Negev looks good as well. Mm, it's a... I mean, th those kind of look like the skins you would drop in-game at the end of the match, twice a week or something like this. Except for that Ope, which looks kind of okay. Reminds me a bit of the Dragon Lore, actually. Now we also have some stickers, this is a classic, this is the Operation logo, I kind of like this one, and the one with the CSGO guy in the spider web, uh, this is good stuff, I like the color, and the, the identity of this Operation, really like it, and then we have some graffitis with fart, haha, <laughs> I am dead now, 200 IQ, it's good, those are memes and references, it's good, beep 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 for the bomb, it's, it's good, like, those are nice additions, of course, that's about it, but yeah. Now let's have a look at the operation itself, because I just bought it, again, for 13 euros. So to begin with, we have a new background, you can see the badge here, which looks okay to me. 
Um, it's based on missions, as I've said before, those are stars, so each mission will bring you a star, and then with the stars you have, you will be able to view the rewards and claim something. Now, two important things. Number one, this is on a weekly basis. It is mentioned somewhere in the FAQ that it's gonna last 16 weeks, and that every week we are gonna have new missions. But here's the thing, because they are still Valve, if you check the rewards, this is how it's gonna go. So they call this a track, this above there, it's gonna be a track. And they mentioned that you can go through a couple times a track if you want to. So this is a pretty standard and better progression. When you have five star, you're gonna get a case. When you have uh, six, you're gonna get that, that and there. Now this shows that the moment I will have 10 stars, I'll be able to drop one of those and hopefully get that up. But look, the first customized skin will be dropped at 28 stars. Now the question is, if I am to do all the missions in, this, in the first week, will I have enough points to redeem that one? Because then my reward is going to be one item from this collection. Uh, they, 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 look, they look good. Um, this one seems way too bulky though. I, I wonder how the hitbox is going to be in game. But I mean, it's okay, that's whatever. The question is, if I go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I've just checked the amount of points we can win in a single week, and it's going to be from 19 to 20, depending on the amount of points we get for this mission. So say at best, I'm gonna be able to win 20 points per week. Even though I do all the missions, I'm not gonna be able to reach that landmark of 28, at which I get a chance to get one of those skins. Uh, I mean, if I'm, if I'm getting that one, I'm gonna be a bit disappointed because it looks like the same. This is the classic one, I guess. Maybe something in the back change, but that's about it. So the more points you get, the more you climb up the ladder. Now, keep in mind, if you can only win 20, it's gonna take you at least five weeks to complete an entire track and to have a shot at getting one of those skins. Now, the second set of skins is at 52, so you can have those skins. Those guys are so bulky. What's in the back? Hatchets, I guess, okay. Uh, the classic one, this one looks to be French. <laughs> and yeah, this one is classic again. So again, that is 52, now we're going, now checking the 76. Those are considered to be purple. Again, the bulky guy, this one looks the same, just colors a bit different. Uh, this one looks pretty cool, I guess. Yeah, this one, this one is pretty badass. And when you reach 100, you get the master agent. There is four of them. This is where you can get the female model, which is called Ava. Uh, that bulky guy again, this one look real cool, but doesn't look like a CSGO model at all. Now, hold on a minute. Um, so, so KFC replied to the Twitter announcement to which uh, the CSGO devs replied with that picture of the colonel saying that he massacred a lot of chickens uh, to KFC. Uh, Does that mean CSGO is getting involved with KFC at some point? Like. What? Anyway, back to the uh, non-conspiracy uh, version of me. In the end, I, I like how this operation is built. I believe it's a smart way of making it with the stars and the points. And every week, new missions is going to bring new content. That's a good thing. Now, what I don't like so much is the price of the operation, coupled with the fact that you can actually buy the stars eh, for a lot of money, if you're realistic. The real question in the end is, are we going to be able to trade those skins, those models skins? Because this is a brand new door for CSGO. So here's an update. Um, yes, we can. So, uh, yep. Eventually, at some point, we're gonna have hats and boots and uh, accessories and that kind of personalization level. So on and on, 13 euros, I would pay them. Uh, to be honest, even if it was 100 euros, after two years, I would have paid them. Uh, minus for me is the fact that you have those micro payments to get the things faster. And also the fact that the rewards are going to be randomized. So not only will you have to wait for five weeks to get there and get the skin of the master agent, but then again, you will have one chance out of four to get the skin you would like to have. So say you have this one and you don't like it, you're gonna be back to zero star and you will have to either wait for five weeks again or you will have to purchase your way through it to get the stars and eventually unlock the skin you want. So that's about it for the operation, now what's new with the gameplay? It's been a long time coming, my Globolet with SG only video was released almost a year ago and the nerf was a long time overdue. So the SG will now cost $3,000, which is 250 more than before, 
but the weapon stats will stay the same. I believe this is a good way of doing it and we'll see how that one goes over time. Both the Famas and the Galil now cost $200 less than before and some changes have been made to their auto spray accuracy. Which you can see here, the Galil looks a lot like the AK now, by the way. I'm, I'm really eager to play with it again, because before, let's be honest, the Galil was trash. And the only reason I would pick up a FAMAS before was to see my skin in-game, and that's about it. Uh, we also got some changes to the Danger Zone, which I can't really debrief because I don't play it at all. But the old map is back into the Danger Zone map pool. Now, that one is big because Cash is now playable in matchmaking instead of scrimmage. Now, this this comes as a surprise to me because I wasn't expecting Valve to move that quick on this map, especially because FPS wise, at least for me, it is not so great. And you know how Valve tend to focus on the greater good and that kind of stuff, at least this is what they say for the 64 tick and 128 tick. But I don't know, I mean it's here now so we can play it. And Vertigo is ongoing, <laughs> a lot of changes, it's just like every update. Now will I cover them? Uh, nope. This is going to change again, I don't like Vertigo, and mostly, now that Cash is back into the map pool, and Vertigo stayed here, uh, does that mean another map has to go? If so, I, I really wonder which map will have to go. We have a new MVP thing showing both at the end of the half and at the end of the game. I've recorded one for you so you can see it and I think it's really cool. Again, this is a nice addition. And lastly, the game mode Flying Scoutman is back in the war games with new maps and that kind of stuff. Now, what is my takeaway from this entire update? It's good, it's really good. This is a way to celebrate CS 20th anniversary. We have content, we have the SG nerfed, we have a FAMAS and a Galil buff. And also, if you're wondering, you can play the missions even if you didn't buy the pass, but of course, you're not going to win any stars. Now, surely it is expensive, might just be the most expensive one we've ever had, but again, it's optional and purely cosmetic. No one is forced to buy it, there won't be any kind of advantage from buying it. Now guys, I'm going to be honest, there's just one more thing which I've been constantly asking and for a long time, it is skins for the Zeus. So Valve, please fix. Also, thank you. And lastly, because I'm an idiot, but also because I want the skins, I'm gonna get myself a pack of 100 stars and see how that goes. So you can bear with me for a second as I'm gonna put my credit card. Okay, this action cannot be undone. Who so dramatic. So I'm gonna activate them. And oh, I got the woman straight away with. I'm, I now have 41 items to go with. Oh wait, what? Hold on a second. So I got the woman. I've got, well, the crates, obviously. I got a sticker which I enjoyed, good thing. Uh, another crate. Graffiti. Cool. That one looks cool as well. I'm kind of lucky, I guess. Okay. I wonder how rare those crates are going to be because you can get them through the Operation Pass like this. You can. How, how many crates did I get even? Five, six, seven, eight. So that is eight of them. You know what? It is, it is 4 a.m. Um, I'm gonna open them. Let me. Let me just give some more money to Valve. Now again, I would never recommend you guys to open cases. This is one of the easiest way to waste some money, but I want to do it. Oh, in, in, oh wait, 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 hold on a second. That's actually very interesting. Um, I just got the standard animation for unboxing, yeah? But my account was plugged as French, if you recall. And if you recall, French are supposed to be doing the X-ray thing. So could it be that those new crates are not regulated somehow? Uh, <laughs> you might get in trouble here, Val. Yes. Hmm. Would it be sick if I... Yeah, well... Hmm. Oh no, please come back! Just as to how the prices of the skins are gonna go, like, since you can get seven to eight crates by just doing the operation thing, is the crate that rare? Oh, stop, stop, motherfucker! And this is why uh, I've been explaining for a long time, don't open cases. This is a waste of money, which is an old series of mine I used to do where I would open cases while saying that you should not. And I only got shit, shit, skins, blue. So hold on, how does that look? All right, so, so this is an actual proper model that I can replace for CT. Oh, it's only CT, right. 
I can't. Okay, I need one for T side then. 